Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mineralize Cartel and MRC Garage. Today we got a very exciting install for you today. We got John Civic. He has not been on the channel before, but he's been around many, many times and we used to go to car meets together quite a bit. And this is his, what does this say? 2019? 2019 SI for bolt tones, ethanol. And how much power? This running about 311. 311. And then we've got this beautiful, what is it, the Skunk 2 Mega Power, which just got released yesterday? Yep. I ordered it over a week ago because I'm special. <laughs> <laughs> and, alright, so we're going to go ahead and turn the car on, give you guys a little bit of a, a before and after, yep, and sorry. see. This thing just looks mean, you guys. I just. Yeah, it's already catless, front by the down pipe. So it's already loud to begin with. That reverse HDMI life right there. As you can see that HDMI tip. So hopefully we're gonna make it uh, nicer. nicer than what it is now. It sounds like, it sounds like a, a rice, uh, like a polished turd. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's like a, it doesn't sound the best, you guys. So hopefully that's what this mega power is gonna do. Well, it's straight three it's inch. Straight three inch. It's, yeah, so. Hopefully it really uh, lets it rumble. Yeah, all Stump and... Two's done is they put out a video of, of it on a stock Civic. It, it sounded quiet like it did when it had a catalytic converter anyway. So okay. It's probably going to be loud. I, I'm hoping. Are you hoping it's loud? Yeah, because this is my weekend car. Yeah. It's a little quiet. A little too quiet for a Civic per se. So we're going to go ahead and throw you guys on a time lapse and getting these big behemoths on this low car so my fat ass can get underneath of it <laughs> no if you, for those of you who don't know john is actually pretty skinny he used to be a big man um I used to be 285 i'm probably 220 i'm still amazed though i'm i'm thinking just like look how lean you are compared to what you when i first met you like when i first met you you were you're a big dude yeah. and now look at him so all right, well, without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get this on jack stands, get our little heater going. As you can see, it's quite cold in here. So, yeah, let's get to it. I give you my heart. three bolts out guys now we're uh dealing with hangers dealing with hangers so i'm gonna go down uh, there wd-40 that went off real quick i already got one of the hangers oh really yeah okay it's gonna have yeah. oh you got another that hanger. Another oh hanger. another hanger right there and then these Big behemoths right here. Hey, we're gonna keep those on. Yep. We're gonna take this one. Okay. Uh, Look at that. Oh, that's oh there it is. There it is. One. All right, there it is. We got both. All right, guys, we got one more. You're gonna have to turn the camera off, guys. Yep. And uh, we're gonna go this. ahead and grab that bottom one and slide this exhaust out, and we'll get back with you guys. All right, guys, that was a uh, hellacious time to get out. John here managed to muscle mania the rear hangers right here. Got some WD-40. He's going to go ahead and pull these off. But you guys, look at this exhaust. It's got two mufflers into that 
ass backwards HDMI port, and this is one solid piece. seen before here's the new skunk 2 where's the skunk 2 major mega power I'm gonna go ahead and install the hangers and first I'm gonna turn this compressor off this is getting annoying all right turn that off I'm sure you guys are Sick of hearing that as well too. So this is where this comes in. Right. Here's the other I just had. Uh, right there, the boot, right there. The question is, is that where is that where that comes into handy? Is right. Guaranteed. It's for to reenact those two, yeah. Yep, I'm thinking so. Yep, just like so. We're installing this piece last anyway. We can figure it out when we get there. Okay. Because. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, it might actually. No, it's not the front. I don't know what it's for, John. We'll, we'll have to figure out once we truck along some more because that'll work there for these ones yeah sort of. huh all right let me get back under there and get these hanging out let's see what we're working okay. with yeah. yeah there's one more okay there's two uh, we don't reuse these these no. come off completely okay i think they're bolted too yeah, we can just leave them up there. No, they're on there. They're not bolted. They're on there. Okay. Oh, come off. All right. Oh. That was these. Yep. And just like that. And just like that. All right, you guys. Got how many gaskets? Three? Three. Three. Okay, perfect. Alrighty. Yep. I'm gonna finally get a bite of pizza, dude. Uh have yourself a beer. I'll tell you that. I want yeah. beer. Alright guys, so now we're just tightening up this back bracket mount here. It comes with uh we think it's for the Existing hanger bushing isn't uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. What is it exactly for? I mean, it's just so stupid why they wouldn't make it why they just Made this they rather just wrap this up. Yeah <laughs> I, I, I don't know it's my faith in skunk 2 has gone down the hole this last five years Yeah, it's I'm And I'll be straight honest you can put that on YouTube I mean, what are they gonna do? You know, I mean, it's, it's, I mean it's, you're well, not the only. The welds are good, the product's good, but the flaws are things you could have taken care of during R and D before you put it out there for all of us consumers. Because this is an R and D, easily take care of kind of flaw. Because I'm over here, you know what I would have done? Right here, take these, tilt them up a little bit, extend these cut this off right here yeah but I think this is how a lot of companies are making their exhaust for this car which is sad it's a newer Honda unfortunately and you know how newer things are getting you got a little scratch there Got a little battle scar, do you? I love it when the thin, tiny sheet metal scratches you. Oh, it's the it worst. It feels like paper cuts. Yeah, it's the worst. I'd rather have a deep cut than that. 
I would too. A clean. I hate paper, paper cuts. cuts. Paper cuts are just. Exhaust tankers go. Those rubber ones that I had earlier. Um, did you put them on the car already? No, I didn't. Alright, we got the original hangers now. We're gonna go ahead and throw them on that little doodad we were just talking about. And we weren't trying to diss, you know. Nothing, no. No, we're not trying to badmouth skunk at all. Just 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 being just being honest uh, with you guys with uh, the product. Um, just an honest review. I don't want to scratch the bottoms yeah. up today. Go ahead. Fuck this. WD? Yep. Jeez. That's a lot. Really yeah, it is. It's tighter than my girl. Ooh. Tighter than a. Um, what do you call it? How, tighter than my butthole in prison. <laughs> And I'll tell you this, it'd be real tight all the time. I wouldn't be fucking doing nothing there. <laughs> oh, so you're doing something already. No. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Slides. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> You'll get to know me eventually, I'm dirty. <laughs> no, we're going to have I need, to... I need out. Okay. All right, guys, so um, we ended up figuring out, not with the hanger. The hanger does not, uh, we couldn't it's figure shit. out a use. It's shit. We couldn't figure out a use for it. Um, but we did go ahead and flip these upside down and figure out how everything works. And yes, we do over here, my friend, in the office. Right over here, shop towels and goop. Goop is on the ground, grab you some goop. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and install the middle pipe and we'll get back with you once this thing is fully installed and turned on. Uh, gonna just cut to the chase for you. It's getting really tricky to film and do a lot of fiddling around with stuff and I think it's quite boring to just film putting the exhaust on. So we'll just hurry up and get this uh, before and after done and uh, go for a rip. So let's get to it. All right guys, it is the moment of truth. Um, Kobe, no, he missed. I tried. He tried. All right. All right, guys. I I sure as hell hope this is louder. Than... Is it stable? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're not going anywhere, dude. Go for it. <laughs> it sounds like my K24 back in the day. You can hear the blow off valve. Just a little bit. Do it again, go again. Do it rev up high. Uh, Let me try it again. What's happening? Yeah. I'm running E35. 
Guys, I absolutely love this car. He's wanting me to tap it just a little bit. That was four thousand. That was right at four. That's. Oh no! One more finishing touch. One more. Oh, so that's why you asked me if I had masking tape, huh? Yeah, I want. I want to. Make sure it's all evened out before I do anything. Um, are we going to measure the distance between window to window, or how do you do this? You just eyeball it? Eyeball it pretty good. Okay. Lift that side up. Let me get some. There, you guys can see now what we're looking at. Alright, so lift it up. Right, guys i hope you enjoyed that little bit of a time lapse we i'd say don't look too bad myself it came along with the intercooler piping down below i'm gonna go ahead and take off my coat and not get the seats dirty like i did before and we're gonna go ahead and uh Yeah, let me go get that. All right, guys, we're gonna freeze our ass off here and kick this out of the way. Four gallons. I'm just uh, just gonna get some good exhaust notes for you. Let you guys know uh, whether it's worth the money or not. Uh, what do you think so far? Worth yeah. the money? Yeah. Yeah. Other than the. The front bolts up top here with the welds and the nuts and you can't get a socket in there to really drive them down you gotta use your good old hand muscles and uh tighten them down other than that that's my only complaint about this exhaust you guys and you do run into factors like that when it comes to any any sort of cars and then i do have a that's not necessarily a complaint but a question of uh where's that rear bar go yeah, I'm still confused with that, honestly. I, don't. I have no clue. Uh, where are ice skating? Not anymore. I took the traction. <laughs> That's the exhaust hitting the bottom ass. Yeah. Summer tires in the winter, not a good mixture. No, not at all. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, don't get stuck. I must say, I do love the seats though. They, I will say that they hold you, they hold you pretty well. Uh, everything about the car I like. I'm not, and, and you guys, and those of you, you guys know me, I 
don't like new cars. I don't like new things. And we were just talking about the direct port injection it has. And I'm just thinking this is like... Uh, everything is just about it. And we were talking about in order to upgrade the fuel system in this car, you need to run a MoTeC, add injectors, add a fuel rail, and just spend nine kinds of money. But... Um, the tune-up it has in it now at 311 horsepower with mixing 93 and E85 is more than enough to have fun on the street and for what the car is. And it's, I will say it is a very fun car and it's, it's not like anything I've had. It's not like the power isn't. Like, I don't, it's not violent power, you know, and it's, but that doesn't make it not fun either, you know, it's, it's smooth power, it's smooth power like a GTR, like, you push the gas and it sucks you in the seat and the engine purrs and you just keep going faster, that's pretty much how this works, it's not anything like, what da 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 it's got its blow off noises. It's got the little wastegate flutter. It's, it's got little things that make it cute, but at the same time, it is still a very mean car. And uh, this mega power exhaust really, it really wakes it up. And I have nothing but good things to say about it. Although it is loud though, it is loud. I like it though. to go ahead and go get some E85 and get this mixed blend and uh, gonna do a couple poles and uh, probably head back all right guys we're at the gas station now um, he just pulled out the calculator for um, E85 and methanol or for 93 uh, we're gonna go ahead uh, the calculation said to get um, I believe it was three gallons of um, uh, 93 and hang on let me verify hey how many gallons Jesus what? start over I, I wasn't recording I don't remember what to say <laughs> oh, Jesus go go all right all right guys we're at the gas station we're going ahead and get fueled up and um, his tune requires two mixtures of fuels. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, toss it over back to John um, to explain a little bit more in depth of what it what that means here. So, yeah. So my tune runs anywhere from 30 to 40 percent ethanol. Um, what I'm doing right now is adding some like 6.2 gallons of uh, 93 octane. Uh, our gas here already has 10 percent. Uh, my tank only takes like 12.4 gallons. I was at a quarter of a tank. So let's say you add like 6.2 gallons. Then you go and you add, oh, the rest of your tank. Or what did we do? I think it was three yeah, gallons. 3.3 3. 3 gallons or 3.4 gallons yep. of ethanol. And it should mix out, you know, between 30 and 40%. I'm hoping it mixes at 36. Um... You know, there's not much to it. Just waiting and filling up. 